Snus drunk. Well, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And yeah, we're on our way to Pandora to uh, take on the one of the most creepiest areas, atmospheres, musics uh, in any Super Nintendo game. But first, we're plowing through these mushrooms. <laughs> As I've pointed out in the past with this game, like in the review and on, in the multiplayer videos, this is a great uh, multiplayer game. It would be um, it would be nice to be able to play this game with another person. Uh, I want to get my girlfriend playing on these one of these days, but uh, she's pretty busy with stuff. And she's she's never shown that much of an interest in this game. She's a big horror movie or uh, horror game person. She's been playing this game. She's got a PS4, and uh, she's been playing this game called Outlast. Uh, looks like every horror game ever, but yeah, she's big into Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and all that kind of stuff. And she does like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Like that's like her jam on Super Nintendo. And she's the one responsible for getting me into that game to the point where I just. Uh, I just, I managed to beat that game, which I never ever could have imagined like four or five years ago. I, I hated that game back in the day because it was too effing hard and there was the lag and there was, it, it like made no, the game just made no sense to me. So, uh, but I, yeah, I, I, I love that. It's one of my favorites now. But uh, yeah, I can't really get her into uh, Secret of Mana. She, she'd rather play uh, whatever she's, uh, interested in right now. I got her Bloodborne for her birthday, so uh, she'll probably be into that next. But uh, yeah, no, yeah, this is a really fun uh, multiplayer game, and it is it is compatible with the four-player, any four-player accessory that you can find. There's there's a bunch on the Super Nintendo. There's the, the whatchamacallit, uh, the usual, the Super Bomberman accessory. There's the, uh... Uh, I forget the name of it. It's like the Tribal Tap or something like that. Um, boy, real talkative over here, huh? Come on, Grandma, speak up. Cat got your tongue? Or I guess uh, Gargoyle got your tongue? What are those statues? Are those steers? Jeez, you can't shut these people up. You can't even go this way. What the hell? I think I forgot to trigger something. What did I do? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Whatever the next part of the story is, is not happening yet. Let's take a quick uh, gander back in uh, Pantera. I mean, Pan Oh, I'm supposed to. That's Fana. Okay, I'm supposed to talk to her. Hey, what's your problem? Yeah, very astute drunk. She disappeared! <laughs> so we need to make her go vamoose. We need to make her disappear before we get her... Oh, she disappeared right over here. God, I hear cats meowing outside, like viciously meowing. My dog is not happy about that. Shut up, stop bothering her. Okay. Anyway, I was distracted there. I've calmed down a bit since the last episode. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go into this uh, new area, and yeah, this area is very creepy. Watch out! The music here is, yeah, a little unsettling. There's all sorts of status ailments here that can fuck you up and ruin your day if you're not careful. Actually, it is recommended that you level up quite a bit before you get to this area. Otherwise, all you're going to be doing uh, in this uh, area is, um, is just running past everybody because it's so impossible to freaking... Uh, it's, it's so ridiculous to, to try and even fight these guys. It's just pointless. Because you can't do any damage, and the damage they do to you is absurd. It's like 50 damage for every attack. But let's uh, fight our way through here. Let's let's get some experience. I uh, forgot to mention I did do some magic grinding before this. I've gotten uh, 
freeze, I think. I forget if I got it all the way to level 2 or if it's still at level 1. I think it's at level 2. But I did at least get it to level 1. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. But you want to do that for this next boss fight, otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Also, you want a fairy walnut to replenish your magic. That would be a good time, because then that would give you a chance to uh, beat the boss, which is... Uh, is uh, pretty it's pretty hard if you go into it unprepared it's pretty hard but uh, we're going into it prepared so we're gonna be okay let's try out earth slide just since we're talking about magic here let's use it on this thing and yeah y you don't want to waste magic on those guys but no, whoops. see I already uh, Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's. Uh, I forgot to mention the last time. I don't even remember if I mentioned the earlier episode. Is that I leveled up on the magic for the uh, the gnome boss the last time, and now we're going into a completely different boss. It's a really strange idea for a boss, but it, now that you get the gnome magic, you do want to level that up. And I did do that off screen here uh, for a little bit. That's what got me calmed down <laughs> a little bit. Kind of zoned out while I was doing that. So. Uh, Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about playing this game with more than one person. And then that was going to send me off into a tangent of, uh... Talking about, uh, here, yeah. Might as well, uh, do I have any magic left? Yeah, I do. She doesn't have any. She has all status stuff. I don't know if I can... If this will even work. If I do this... No, still won't work. You gotta use, like real pure magic whatever the hell watch it it'll wear off before I even get a chance to use this fucking thing there we go got the stupid thing petrified that's good anyway like I was saying uh, like 20 minutes ago <laughs> this is a fun game to play uh, um, multiplayer but I'm not the type of person that has a whole lot of friends as pathetic as that might come across sounding uh, I've, I'm, I'm like one of those people that has like three close friends. I don't have a lot of acquaintances. I don't really go out a whole lot. And all of my, all, the friends that I do have all have very, very, very different interests. Because I have like very different interests. And that leads to a lot of like compartmentalization. Like you guys watching right now, all, all 12 of you, um, you, you guys care about obviously video games and like retro gaming. I could ramble on about the PGA Tour. I'm a big golf fan. I, a lot of you guys are going to roll your eyes and laugh at that, but I, like golf is boring. It's like, well, it's one of those things I grew up watching. I, I grew up playing golf with my dad and my brother. I'm interested in it, and I, I do like watching it. I like Jordan Spieth. Um, I like Phil Mickelson. I like a lot watching a lot of the pros. And uh, it's something I could talk about for days. I could talk about the courses. I could talk about past winners of certain events. I'm also a big Vikings, Minnesota Vikings fan, so I'm a big football fan. Again, that's that's another one of those things <coughs> that goes all the way back to uh, to uh, you know childhood. And like one of my best friends from back home, you know, me and him known each other like over half our lives. We don't talk about that shit because I know he doesn't care. Why would he care? I don't expect him to care. So I find other people to talk about that stuff with. And that's just how it is. So it's hard to find, you know, you find different people interested in, in different things. And it's it's hard to find somebody that's interested in, like, several of the things where you, where you share, like, several interests. Like, not only do I like golf and I like football, I love baseball, too. I'm really enjoying watching the Twins this year. Um, I love metal music. I grew up with uh, old Metallica, Slayer, uh, Carcass. Wow, that is a shitload of damage. I need to remedy that immediately. God damn. <coughs> metal music, I like a lot of... Uh, I like stuff like Boards of Canada and Bjork and Kate Bush and... Uh, gorillas. What am I listening to lately? New, New Faith No More I'm still listening to. There's a, there's a band from Norway called Arcturus. It has the singer from uh, Dimu Borgir and Borknagar. Does he? No, he used to sing in Borknagar, I think. Uh, Vortex. Yeah, I think he's just Dimu Borgir now. I mean, he might have left that band, but he's an Ar Arcturus now. I, I don't like Dimu Borgir, I think they're lame. 
They're a little too uh, theatrical and, and freaking chintzy for me. Cheesy. But uh, Arcturus is a good time. Uh, yeah, there's like bands like that, and I like. So, so it's like I have interests all across the board, and so it's tough to find uh, people that are like into like the same stuff as me. Or so, so it's 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 hard. It's a, it's it's almost like I need to find people that are into just one of those things. So, and there's not a lot of people that give a shit about retro games down here in Albuquerque. That's for damn sure. Hey, Clyde, level up. Good, good boy, Clyde. Oh, that's a good dog, Clyde. But I'll keep rambling next time. Uh, Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.